Welcome to this quick training video on Datalink Titler. Datalink Titler is a web application that will allow you to update eight Datalink keys from another computer. So this could be great if you need to do uh, data entry from another location that will show up inside the TriCaster, like for titles or maybe uh, scores or stats or something like that. So the way you use this application is you first have to download it by clicking the button here, which will download the zip file. Uh, take that zip file to your TriCaster, unzip it, install it, and that will place the files on your TriCaster system. Once you have it on there, we need to access the application using a web browser on another computer. And you can get uh, the information you need to do that by going to the TriCaster, uh, clicking the little globe icon in the upper corner, and this will give you the IP address of the system in question. So you can see in my case, 192.168.1.136. I'm going to take that back to my other computer, and I'm going to start typing that in into the URL of a web browser. And then after you type the IP, you're going to type slash, and you're going to type the letter DL for data link, and then titler uh, to access the application. So just type that all together, DL titler, and then hit return. And when you do that, you're going to see this interface open up. And what you have in here are eight data link keys that you can update. Now, by default, the data link key names are the names of the field. So you can see they're just called DLT1 through DLT8. Um, but you can change those fields so you can make them more user friendly for your needs by just clicking the gear in here and then changing those fields to what you want. So maybe this one's going to be name and company. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe we're going to use something else in here for, uh, you know, let's just, let's just put one in here called number, let's say, in there. And I'll hit OK. And you can see I've just updated up some fields in there. That's strictly user information. It doesn't have any bearing on uh, what you actually send over there. They're just something so that I have a better idea uh, of what I'm going to feed in there. I just noticed I typed my name instead of Kane in there. That's fun. So now that we've got our fields, let's go into a TriCaster title template and uh, set it up to receive data from these fields. So I'm going to uh, go into the TriCaster. I'm going to go down in my buffers. Now this could be in a buffer or uh, a media player. All right, I'm just using a buffer in this case. I'm going to go into uh, a title and you can see right now it's just got generic information in it. Let's say that um, my information here is going to be, uh, for whatever reason I have, uh, let's say my name, maybe it's an employee number, and then the company I work for. I know that's what we're going for here. So I'm going to type in percent and then DL, and this is going to match the data link uh, field that I want. So DLT1 for the first one. And again, if you're not sure, you can't remember what they are, you can find this out by just going back in a data link titler, putting your pointer over the field in question, and you'll see it actually will display for you exactly what that field name is. So you can see that my name field is DLT1. All right, so that's what I want to enter into my TriCaster here. So that's going to be where my name goes. And then let's say down here, it's going to be uh, employee number, and then it's going to be um, the, the, the company in here, just as an example. So that's uh, DLT3 for the employee number, and we'll put a little hyphen, and then it's going to be the company name, so DLT2 for that one in there. All right, and now that we've done that, you can see that nothing really appears in uh, our title, all right, because I've not pushed any data in yet, but we can go do that by uh, going in back in here. So I'm going to enter my name. Now, anytime you edit a field, if that field has not been pushed into the TriCaster yet, you see it will appear with a red box around it. That's just your way to know that this field is not what currently is in the TriCaster. All right. So, and then let's say I'm employee. I really don't know what employee number is. Let's say I'm employee uh, 100 and 73. We'll just come up with some number there. And then when you're ready, you would hit send and that will push the data over and I can go back into the TriCaster and look and you can see that uh, it has put that data into my um, title in there. And if I wanted to change anything, maybe I wanted to add in New Tech Incorporated, I'll just hit send again and you see it just updated that one as well. Now, one other thing I do want to let you know, Data Link Titler only sends in the fields that are modified, only the fields that are red. So if two people were to both load up Data Link Titler at the same time, as long as they are not trying to edit the other people's fields, which they wouldn't be prevented from doing, but the idea would be probably be that that's not what you'd want them to do. You know, somebody could edit, let's say, the first four fields, while another user could edit the other four fields, and you'll find that those fields will not conflict with each other. You know, updates, it won't send and like if I leave these fields blank, 
it's not going to send an update to them just because they're blank. So it's kind of nice that it only updates the actual ones that are changed. Uh, one other thing you'll also notice is that uh, it will read the current status of the data link fields too when the application starts. So if you were to refresh the application, you'll see that it has come back showing me that data that was already in those fields. So uh, anytime you open the application up, if you've used data link titler in the past, you'll probably find that it actually is going to show up with information in there to begin with because it's just showing you what the last fields were that it had. But that's fine. You can still go in and update them. It's just showing you what currently uh, is in there. So I hope you find Data Link Titler uh, useful and thank you.